and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Restamel Castle, as you can see behind me. Near Bodmin. Near Bodmin. So we're going to go and have a little look inside, avoiding avoiding the gift shop. Well, that's carefully located. No, <laughs> if we're honest, he's already he's already had another sword. He's already been bought oh, another sword. God. He's over there somewhere. So he's probably slashing small children into little pieces. This castle's one of three round castles within the area. I'm struggling to remember one of the names. This this one, Launceston, which we visited last year, and there's another one, and the name escapes me. I'll have to put it up at the bottom of the screen. So come along with us. Here we are at Restamel Castle, near Bodmin, um, 13th century circular castle, pretty damn impressive. Yeah. Oh, does it say what this was used for Mike? Oh, it's the chapel. St. Mary's Chapel. The chapel dedicated to St. Mary was where, where, where the lords of Rostommel and their inner household worshipped. So that's what it would have looked like. I think that's how you pronounce it with the drain there and the priest had wash all his holy vessels in the 17th century the lord of the manor of Restmel under here found like a, a tomb with two skeletons embracing I suppose they were quite icky about that sort of thing back then so we ordered it all filled in and it's never been seen since Nice. Yeah. So under here is two embracing skeletons. Oh, lovely. Mm. Bit of history for you. So what you know, love? That window there was blocked up during the Civil War. And it was used as a gun platform. Gun platform. Mm -hmm. What civil war was this? What year? Civil war. What year? I'm testing, you know. It was 
Obviously there's that knows that there was the Hundred Years' War and the Civil War, I think they're just slightly different. So you're telling me you don't know? Around 15, 1600, I think. I think the Civil War. I thought you were good on history. Tudor, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Right, I'm reliably informed that this room up here would have been the Lord's room. He had his own access to the chapel, which was through that doorway there into the chapel. So he would have had an impressive sized room all to himself. I don't know what's down there, I can only assume a well. Obviously since been filled in. Ah, there we go Mike, this, this was the well, look. The well provided fresh water to the inner ward, it predates the 13th century buildings above it. The inner ward later benefited from an alternative source of water brought from a natural spring along a lead pipe another one what does that one say Mike? in the inner hall The room above was an inner hall part of the Lord's apartment. It could be entered from both the hall and the chapel and contained a fireplace and three windows. The Lord and Lady could climb a stair in the thickness of the wall to the battlements, a perfect vantage point for watching the hunt of Restamel, in Restamel Park. The pit in the basement, one of three, is thought to show the position of the tower of the 12th century castle. Pretty impressive. This, must, this is the main hall by the look of it. Yeah, it's the main hall. And then you would have had all that wooden ceiling. That's impressive. The hall of the inner ward was the heart of Restamore Castle. Here, the Earl and later Dukes of Cornwall feasted with their household guests. Yes, the Claire must have been right. The, the kitchens must have been over here. That ceiling must have looked impressive. So, this must be where Claire was saying the kitchens were. Yes, if you stand back here, there must have been a big raging fire where they cooked all the food on. Because if you look at that, goes right up, that must have been the chimney, must have been, they must have had a big raging fire here. Oh yeah, there's water in this one. Yeah, so this must have been the kitchens. Go. 
I didn't see this sign when I came in. In this large room, a staff of cooks prepared food and the castle's lord, an inner household, meaning the lord's relations and guests, and the most important attendants. Underneath where the standing would have been the stores, and then that's the big oven. Oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't see. There's like a floor here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beams, where the beams were. Yeah, where the beams were, yeah. So we're actually in the storeroom. Yeah, and now, yeah, look, there's the... And there's the floor. And the oven probably started up where there. that big mossy thing is. But I love the way this, the stones are all charred. I love that. Yeah, so there's, there was two floors here, a, a storeroom underneath. Yeah. A storeroom I've underneath. Yeah, I've shown you the place where the... Right, just coming over to the other side of the castle now. I'm going to see what this would have been. Wardrobe. Really? The room above was different from the others. It contained no fireplace, its own windows faced into the courtyard. It was entered from the south and has no connecting door to other apartments. As a secure room, it would have been ideal for as a wardrobe for storing the Lord's valuables such as such a room at Restmore Castle was mentioned in a document in 1465. stuff right there's a one-way system in place and I'm gonna brave going up there right let's go you know what I'm like with heights well, I love these round castles I love them looks like you're gonna get a view up here There we go, we're at the top of the castle. Bye. Oh, it's like more, my breathing's gone now. I do not like heights. No. Yeah, but it, they may have had a, a wooden fence of some description. Oh. Trying to get me breathing back. Don't do heights. Where's that view? Yeah, go to this next turret. Look at that. You should be able to see the River Foy. The River Foy? Yeah. Oh, I can't look down there. Oh. I'm surprised I'm up here to be honest. Oh, well, he says he's not scared of heights, but look at him down there. You alright, Mike? Bye! Oh. <laughs> views are stunning. Right, should we have a look what this sign says? Sorry, this information, whatever you want to call it. Oh my God, I'm going to have to grab hold of that. Hence. Right, just says the landscape from the least, from at least the 13th century, Restamore Castle stood at the centre of a private park. The Earl and Dukes of Cornwall owned everything you can see from here. Restamore Park is the largest in Cornwall was created for hunting. In 1937 it contained, sorry, 1337 it contained around 300 deer. Fences, ditches and stone walls protected the deer from poachers.
I, I couldn't I couldn't hunt an animal absolutely disgusting oh they look steep don't they I don't like this narrow bit here I've got to walk through that I'm gonna to have to turn this off while I can walk through there right I made it through there it's a bit too close to the drop me for, for, for my liking but Claire's just found it amusing there you go there's another shot of the inner workings of this castle Mike's still wandering round down there like a little lost soul better make our way round but there's nice views in every direction again I can imagine owning a castle looking out at everything you survey everything you own I think it's time for a cup of coffee um, when you do come to this castle at the moment you have to pre-book a time slot but once you're in you uh, get as long as you want oh yeah there's another view how about there not too sure about the uh, solar panel fields but never mind There's the picture of the inner ward, how it may have looked. The buildings of the inner ward formed a compact palace for the Earl and Dukes of Cornwall. They were in ingenious, fitted into a circular plan. Very impressive. We're just having a walk around the outside the castle now. Obviously, there's the what would have been the moat. Um, just looking back this way, in front of the castle, there would have been, or well, there was, what was called a bailey, probably to house all the minions in like a smaller outer wall and as we saw before all this land would have been deer hunting country that's very impressive the Lord. oh here we go here we go <laughs> the, the Lord actually had a window built in his just reposition this mic because she's on one. Not on, on one. I'm just saying the Lord specifically had a window made in his chamber so he could sit in his chamber and watch the deer hunt. Oh wow. <laughs> You've been reading the booklet, love. <laughs> and as you can see there, the bit that sticks out is the outer wall of the chapel. Was the river Foy, but it's actually solar panels. <laughs> Only my wife can <laughs> mistake a field of solar panels with a river. <sighs> Unbelievable. The Civil War. Mid 17th, 60. Yeah, I was right. In the mid 17th century, Restamel Castle was briefly the scene of a fighting during the Civil War between supporters of the King Charles I and those of Parliament. This was probably the only military engagement during the castle's history. I hope that this picks it up on the camera, but as I said earlier about there being a window in the chapel, I'm not too sure whether you'll see it because the sun's shining directly down on us, but the actual stonework is a totally different colour where they took away the stained glass window or whatever window is there and was replaced and filled in 
And did, did they have cannons or something? Cannon. Oh, there was a cannon on the top apparently. But you can actually see the difference in the colour of the rock. And the moat all the way around. Well, there you go. That was Restamal Castle. Um, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give us a thumbs up. There'll be a link in the description um, on the English Heritage site. Uh, maybe I'll put a Google link to the, the location of this castle. So if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed to the channel, help us out. Help the channel grow and uh, join us and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Drop.